My day is a vampire. You know, one of the damned. It's not what people think. It's a part of my life as much as any other debilitating disease. But it's not all I am. Deep down, I'm not much different from you. Uh, okay, pause, because I know what you're thinking. And this guy had it coming. He didn't like and subscribe. You guys are good with sarcasm, right? When I'm not out here killing shows with my band, making art that challenges society, or writing poetry, or succumbing to my illness, you came here to know what I do on the uh, normal days. I wake up bright and early. 5 p.m. Yeah, that gets easier with age. Usually my day starts with my pride and joys. Good morning. Ow! This is my crow, Bowie, my bat, Nat, and my rat, Toby. It's important to me that I give them some time to drink up the sun and the fresh air, but it's even more imperative that I am deliberate and careful with my skincare routine so as to not get so what does a vampire eat for breakfast? Oh, oh, I know. The most obvious choice. It must be blood. No. Vitamins? <laughs> that actually would be good, but I can't swallow the flesh. Uh, no. Okay, don't be disgusting. It's nothing. Okay? Breakfast is for pretentious losers. Me? I just like a simple cup of tea. With... With some of the good stuff. Okay, okay, you caught me. Feel better? I do. Next, I will choose my outfit for the day. I pride myself on the color diversity in my wardrobe. Oof. Uh, too much. This should have stayed at the anime convention. Too little. Clothes would be nice. I usually consider it a success if it feels somewhere in between funeral attire and custom Guitar Hero character. Yeah, this is good. Can't forget the jewelry. Oh, and yeah, if you're wondering where I get most of my clothes from, uh thrift stores. The sun's finally down. Another night, another eternity to embrace, so I'll probably just go for a walk. There's this pizza place called Renfields that I like to go to. N no, not to eat. I just longingly stare into the windows and watch families laugh and share meals together, knowing it's something I probably won't ever get to experience again. Even the owner seems like a nice guy. I wonder if they taste like garlic knots. Hey, you! With the hard world eyes! Get out of here! You're scared hey, my hey, I'm leaving. Then, most likely, I'll pay a visit to the graveyard and bathe in my own self pity. I don't know. The views are pretty nice, though. One thing they never warn you about when becoming immortal is just how much time you really have. And while I like to try all sorts of different hobbies to pass the time, some being more fun than others. Time and time again, I find myself coming back to music, most of all. Especially having such sensitive ears, playing guitar helps me focus and feel in control of what I'm hearing, and not feel so overstimulated by the constant noise. And if I'm being honest, it does help the chronic loneliness a little bit. So what does being a vampire mean to me? I don't know, this doesn't exactly come with instructions. Mary Shelley once said, there is something at work in my soul in which I do not understand. On my good days, I try to look at it as an opportunity to stay curious and maybe live for something more than just myself. 
having some fun along the way helps too. Ow. Deep down, I know I'm not alone, even when I feel like I am. There are people all over the world that feel the same as I do, and I hope to meet them all one day. The nights are long, and the days are long too. So it's finally time to rest before I get to do it all over again. Bowie. Bedtime. That's disgusting. Uh.